Hello and welcome to my channel. I am my son and guest. Please, if you are new here, kindly subscribe to my channel. And if you have been watching my videos and if not yet subscribed, please kindly subscribe for our to build the mathematics community. In this lesson, I am going to show that for all values of x greater than 0, x minus half of x squared is less than natural log of 1 plus x, thanks to Ebenezer Tete, also known as Piano Lessons from the University of Ghana Lebanon, for sending me this question. Please, if you are here, comment, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Now, we are going to apply the mean value theorem here. So, let's write f of x to be equal to x minus half of x squared minus natural log of x plus 1. Now, let's find f naught. That will give me 0 minus half of 0 squared minus natural log of 0 plus 1. That will give me 0 minus 0 minus natural log of 1, which is 0 minus 0 minus 0. That is 0. So f of 0 is 0. Now let's find the first derivative. f prime of x because if we differentiate x, you get 1. If we differentiate half of x squared, you get minus x. That is, it will be minus half times 2 x. And that will go minus x. If we differentiate natural log of 1 plus x, you get 1 divided by 1 plus x. So we put a minus sign there. That is, the derivative of this is the same as d ds of 1 plus x divided by 1 plus x. Very, very simple as that. Check the description for the video on how to differentiate uh, natural logarithmic functions. Now, what do we see here? For all values of x greater than 0, you will see that f prime of x is less than 0. Check and see. Take any value greater than 0. Let's take 1 and see. If we take f prime of 1, you have 1 minus 1 minus 1 divided by 1 plus 1. That is f prime of 1 will be 0 minus 1 over 2, which is negative 1 over 2. And negative 1 over 2 is less than 0. So this implies that f of x is strictly decreasing. For all values of s greater than 0. So for x greater than 0, f of x is strictly decreasing. It is decreasing. Very simple as that. So we can say that f of x will always be less than f naught. That is f of 0 because our f of 0 is 0. So if f of x is always decreasing, it will always be less than the value of f of 0. So, our f of x is always less than 0. That is f of 0. f of 0, the answer is 0. Now, what is our f of x? Our f of x is x minus half of x1 minus natural log of x plus 1 less than 0. So, let's regroup. We have x minus half of x squared is less than natural log of x plus 1. And that is to be shown. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Bye-bye.